Now it is time to take longer strides. Achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the Earth. The Eagle has landed. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Bravo, Rocket 1201. This nation will take a clearly leading role in space achievement, which in many ways may hold the key to our future on Earth. I believe we can send humans to orbit Mars and return them safely to Earth. Well, hello and welcome to NASA's Edline News featuring events and activities from NASA Education. I'm Kurt Hogan. I'll be here every week updating you on the education stories, discoveries, and happenings around the agency. Well, as many of you know, NASA has begun a brand new initiative called Summer of Innovation. And midway into the program, organizers and officials are giving it a thumbs up and a high five. Please give a warm welcome for Charlie Bolden. All right, all right, all right, how you doing? What we want to do this summer through the Summer of Innovation is take young men and women like Malik, and we want to help them understand. Yes, science and math may be difficult, but you can learn it. Now that, of course, was NASA Administrator Charlie Bolden expressing his passion for the program designed to help young people all across the country get excited and re-energized about math and science. And the gentleman who introduced him in that clip is 46-year-old astronaut Leland Melvin. He's a veteran of two shuttle missions himself and is also a former wide receiver for the Detroit Lions. And he just so happens to be joining us today via the Digital Learning Network here to explain all of the specifics of the Summer of Innovation. Leland, thanks so much for being here. Thank you, and I'm glad to be here to talk about an exciting new education project at NASA called the Summer of Innovation. NASA is participating in the President's Educate to Innovate campaign, and we put together an amazing set of activities and events for middle school students and their teachers. Now, when I was a kid, my parents were both school teachers, and they gave me a chemistry set where I actually mixed some chemicals together, and I blew up a hole in my parents' rug. Now, don't do that, but it was something exciting that fueled my curiosity into science and engineering. So our focus is getting students from underrepresented, underperforming, and underserved populations excited about science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, or STEM. For our nation to be competitive, in the future we need a diverse and highly qualified technical workforce, and today's middle school students are the key to making that happen. The 10 NASA field centers, where all of NASA's research and mission activities take place, are conducting over 150 activities across the country. They are working with groups such as science centers, boys and girls clubs, and parks and recreation organizations to bring science to life for middle school students. We have NASA Space Grant Summer of Innovation projects in four states, New Mexico, Wyoming, Idaho, and Massachusetts, where students are launching rockets, building wind turbines that will be connected to the power grid, and also programming robotic spheres that are flying aboard the International Space Station, my home away from home for nearly a month. All this is being done by middle school students. It's amazing. In addition, there are Summer of Innovation activities in several cities across the nation, including Cleveland, Los Angeles, and Detroit. We've also been developing high-profile partnerships with types of organizations and people that will help NASA connect with today's youth. People who share the same passion for education as NASA and are recognizable to this audience. We are working with Senior Mary J. Blige's organization, Foundation for the Advancement of Women Now, to engage girls. We're also working with other federal agencies and industry partners. And finally, we're supporting non-traditional activities such as the Donovan McNabb Football Clinic, where we taught the physics of football to 400 girls and boys. It's been really exciting. NASA centers, space grants, and organizations all over the country are still engaging students in amazing activities to get them excited about science, technology, engineering, and math. 
and there will be opportunities for the students we work with this summer to be part of an extended learning community throughout the year. They will be invited to participate in special events to keep their minds engaged and interested in exciting science and engineering activities. We are also looking to formalize some new partnerships through the announcement of Opportunity, which was just released. NASA is looking for partners to develop creative ways to help us achieve the Summer of Innovation goals and to increase the impact and visibility of the project. We will be culminating this summer's activities by participating in the USA Science and Engineering Festival this October on the National Mall in Washington, D.C. In November, we start looking to the future. We will host an innovation summit where we will engage educators, leaders, innovators, and creative professionals from all different sectors in discussions on new strategies for partnerships and communication. We hope to talk about really different ways to engage the public and enhance STEM education efforts across our nation. Stay connected with the Summer of Innovation and the latest project updates by visiting our website. Imagine it, explore it, do it. Who knows what you'll discover? Leland, thank you so much for that very inspiring message. You know, a Summer of Innovation web series has also been developed right here on this channel to contribute in that effort, featuring presentations from NASA professionals agency-wide who are inspiring young people with all that is very cool about science, technology, engineering, and math. And again, if you have any questions you'd like to communicate directly to Erica today, you can email those questions to nasalearn at gmail.com, and those questions will be answered during this webcast segment. And getting kids motivated about math and science doesn't stop in the summer. In fact, NASA's designed a brand new program with the goal of taking STEM learning into the future, and it starts this school year. And joining us to talk about it today via the Digital Learning Network's teleconferencing system from NASA Glenn Research Center in Cleveland, Ohio, is NASA Explorer School Project Manager Rob LaSalvia. Hey Rob, tell us about your new program and how it's helping students. Kurt, the new NASA Explorer Schools really gives students a sense of relevance and involvement by linking science, technology, engineering, and mathematics topics to real-world NASA experiences through authentic, hands-on, classroom-based activities. And uh, in English, what does all that mean? <laughs> that really, the NASA Explorer Schools has three core components. The first is this dynamic classroom content. We take, we take the best of NASA's science, research, and technology and turn it into classroom activities that are both inquiry-based and encourage 21st century skills, uh, collaboration, problem-solving, critical thinking that uh, the teachers and students can use in their classroom. The second is we provide teachers with electronic professional development. Uh, we train teachers to try to build their content knowledge in a, uh, uh, around a given topic, for instance, forces in motion and, and, and the use of rocketry at NASA. Uh, we also provide recognition opportunities to students and teachers who participate in the Explorer Schools over the course of a year and really demonstrate an innovative use of our materials or the use of um, some educational best practices that we've identified and have posted on our website. So how does it actually work? So the NASA, how, how a teacher would become involved is that they would log on to the NASA Explorer Schools virtual campus located at explorerschools.nasa.gov and register to become a part of the program and then simply over the course of the year download our curriculum support materials participate in our streaming video in chat events with NASA scientists and engineers, and let us know about how you use uh, NASA resources with your students. So this is something very different, and obviously you guys are pretty excited about it. Talk to me about that, uh, where, the, where all that excitement is coming from. Yeah, so through the NASA Explorer Schools, we're going to be able to link uh, teachers and students across the United States using technology. Link them with NASA resources and opportunities that will provide a real-world example of how science, math, and technology are used by NASA every day. And all of this is starting this school year. Yep, the NASA Explorer Schools, the NASA Explorer Schools program kicks off uh, the first week of September, and uh, to join, simply visit us at our website, which is explorerschools.nasa.gov. 
All right, Rob, thanks so much. I'm excited about it just hearing about it. Appreciate the time, Kurt. Have a good one. Truly amazing things happening with NASA Education all year long from the Summer of Innovation to NASA Explorer Schools and a whole lot in between because NASA is dedicated to seeing students of America reach their ultimate potential in science, technology, engineering, and math. With a final message to kids this summer from astronaut Tracy Caldwell Dyson orbiting the Earth aboard the International Space Station. NASA wants to invite you to become involved with NASA's Summer of Innovation. We want to give you an extra boost to help you learn more about science and technology as you prepare for your careers. So join us at NASA in finding out all the exciting things that math, science, and engineering can do in our world and in space. Imagine it. Explore it. Do it. Who knows what you'll discover? <laughs> wow, that looks like a lot of fun and a good reason to flip over math and science. Thanks so much for joining us today, and be sure to check back often for the very latest in what's happening with NASA education. For all of us here at Edline News, I'm Kurt Hogan. Stay tuned following the broadcast for even more from NASA education. Until next time, we'll see you later. Space project in this period will be more impressive to mankind or more important for the long range exploration of space. None will be so difficult or expensive to accomplish. What we're looking for is not just to continue on the same path, we want to leap into the future. Okay, we're going. We're going. We're going. We're going. Altitude 16.